What's up, YouTube? How you cool cobras doing this fine afternoon? So the stream that we are doing right now is called I Am Sick of It. What up? Uh, I don't have any beer or alcohol for this video response, but that's all right. We're gonna grab ourselves a soda pop and um, we're gonna get into it. Ooh. I am so tired of it, YouTube. Why? YouTube, I support political correctness. I'm all for cultural acceptance, but at some point, when does it cross over from being politically correct to now you're just being ridiculous? Because yes, apparently now food can be racist. Yes, inanimate objects, inanimate objects that human beings cook with their hands and stuff they find in the kitchen to then consume with their mouths and then turn into poop and pee later. Yeah, apparently food is racist now. This... Wow. Like... Oh boy. Sydney Watson made a new video, so let's just get into it. I'm not gonna lie, I think we've taken things too far. Hi, my name is Sydney, welcome back to my channel. You guys, you guys, did you know that Mountain Dew is racist? Yeah, apparently it's insulting to green people. You guys. You guys, YouTube, did you know that Mountain Dew is extremely racist towards aliens? Can you believe this crap? Uh, grab the old copper cup and let's pour ourselves a, uh, a cup of the sugary goodness. One second. I'm not gonna lie, Mountain Dew is one of my favorite soda pops. Of course, when it comes to soda pop, I'm really not that picky. One second, YouTube. Like, oh my god, Cobra is doing another Sydney Watson video response. Why? And you know what? You can say what you want about her. I really don't care. I really just do not care. I did find this particular story the other night and it just really annoyed me. And because I'm nothing if not caring, I thought it was very necessary for all of you to be annoyed along with me. No, no, don't worry about it. You're welcome. At this stage, almost all of you will have heard about cultural appropriation. It's a thing that happens when white people decide to put braids in their hair or wear Native American headdresses for Halloween. Little known fact, but every time you appropriate someone else's culture, a leftist just heals over and dies. Sorry, I didn't mean dies, I mean cries. But for those of you who are interested in a more concrete definition. Cultural appropriation is defined as the act of taking or using things from a culture that is not your own, uh, especially without showing that you understand or respect this particular culture. So basically it means if, let's say you're you're Asian and you decide to make an American restaurant, so you make a you make a, a burger restaurant called um, Fat Fries and Lazy Burgers Restaurant or some shit. And you go in there and it's just a restaurant making fun of Americans for how fat and lazy we are. Would I be offended by it? Yeah, to some degree, yes. But at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what? It's all tongue in cheek, you know? Yeah, we're going to get into a lot of discussing points with this video because, I mean, is taking someone else's food an act of cultural appropriation or is it preserving their culture? We'll get to that here in a second. But apparently, and this is totally new to me, cultural appropriation extends into food because I guess it's 2020 and you can only cook things that align with your skin color. Okay, now everything is racist. Now every, that's just the society we live in, YouTube. Allow me to um, shed some light on the subject. Haha. <laughs> we live in a society now where everything's racist, everything's sexist, and everything's offensive. Did you just breathe? Oh my God, you insensitive prick. How dare you breathe? There are some people out there who have COPD. They have a hard time breathing. And you breathing? You just, you don't even know. You insensitive prick. 
It's like, bro. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that donate to talk shit was funny. Moving on. Miwiki Weep. Asians making pizza? You gotta go. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Okay. This is the kind of crap that makes my brain just short circuit a little bit. When when did it become a thing now where apparently making food is racist now? <laughs> you know, like on a real note. Fuck math. Since when did making food become racist? I'm confused. Like if you were a white dude and you went around with black face on, sagging your pants, you know, trying to act all ghetto and shit, that would be super inappropriate. But if you're a white dude making Asian food, now that's racist too? Like what? 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 You now have to stick with the food that's aligned with your culture? The fuck out of here, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, other cultures make amazing food. Are you kidding me? Mexican food, Asian food, Indian food, Greek food. Food is delicious, YouTube. And now you... What? Wow, dude. Just wow. <laughs> See, that right there was an example of how easily triggered my trolls are. Sincerely, if my trolls did not care about turning on talk to text, they wouldn't sit there and squirm like little bitches. Watch my trolls squirm like little bitches when I don't turn on talk to text. It's hilarious how easy I can piss off these assholes. <laughs> so an Asian woman in Toronto discovered that a white-owned restaurant... Okay, this is a stretch, but... If you made food from someone else's culture and then proceeded to eat that food while acting stereotypical of that culture, that is, in fact, the only time I could see you making someone else's culture-approved food as being offensive. But if you're just, you know what I'm saying? If you're just, made, like, let's say, for example, okay, you're Mexican, but you're making Asian food because you want to try something different, you know, try different cultures. And you're, you're eating the food and making the food without being a dick about it. You know, that's, that's the difference, I guess. Ridiculous. Hey man, if you like to do that, I would suggest you get mental help for that because that's just not right, man. Nutrition was selling Vietnamese-style foods and bone broth. So, there is this person on social media by the name of Evie V Kwong at Evie uh, Evi Stadium hmm. not sure how you pronounce that but anyways she's apparently pissed off because there is a a, uh, a Vietnamese restaurant that's owned by white people and the dumplings they made are white and you know they have this sauce called jerk sauce it's just part of their cuisine but the white people made a joke about it they now put jerk me on the sauce bottle it's supposed to be a sexual entendre <laughs> oh my god the hate comments dude are hilarious across from another restaurant called Golden Turtle Pho. Yes, I am very aware that I am saying that wrong, but I only speak two languages, English and bad French. So don't yell at me. Licking the flesh of the dead. She was also upset that the owners sexualized jerk sauce and pho hot sauce and made superfood dumplings for profit. Y'all, I'm sick. And obviously the insinuation here is that white owners or white people should not be making Vietnamese style food because cultural appropriation. I mean, there are two sides to this argument. You know, saying that white people should not be making Vietnamese food because that's cultural appropriation. Eh. I guess it depends on how they're making it. Like if they're being a racist while they make it, you know? 
If they're being a racist while they make it and while they eat it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're being racist while they make it and eat it, you know, and if they're deliberately doing it on purpose because that's just who they are. Also, that comment you just made, everyone gets outraged about something, so what's your point, you know? I don't know what offends me more, the sexualized jerk sauce or the fact that a person who is clearly not Southern is using the word y'all. Check your privilege, Evie. Ha <laughs> ha! Evie. It doesn't work like that. Ivy. Whatever. Yeah, because nobody calls it cultural appropriation if you copy a white person. And if you bitch about that double standard, well, try being in a different culture shoes for a couple hundred years. And then talk to me about how unfair it is, you piece of shit. Let's just say a, a Vietnamese couple opened up a, a burger restaurant, an American restaurant, and it was burgers making fun of Americans, you know what I'm saying? Would we be as offended if they're like, hello sir, welcome to the Lazy Burger Shack, would you like a fat ass burger? That's the special today, with the sign of lazy fries and obese onion rings, you know what I'm saying? Would you be... I mean, to some degree, the stereotype that Americans are unhealthy and that they eat junk food and fast food all the time, so then they have, you know what I'm saying? Would it be cultural appropriation if an Asian or someone else other than a white American started a burger restaurant or a restaurant cooking Americanized food while making fun of Americans or being overtly sexual about it? Well, probably not because of the people that, if the people it offends are white, yeah, no one gives a shit. And like I said, if you don't like it, psh, well, nothing you can do about it. You know, I do hope your dad takes you behind the shed and ends it because you're a sad, 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 pathetic troll. I feel sorry for you. If a bunch of foreigners opened up a burger restaurant and had no cultural understanding of where America's first cheeseburger came from, which was in... I believe New York City or somewhere in that general area. But I'm like, e yeah, but <sighs> I don't know, dude. It just, it gets so frustrating living in our society. Like, it really does. Like, this is what our culture has become. Oh, this is just beyond fan freaking fantastic. that this lacks historical understanding, that she threw away her Chinese food lunches at school because white kids would make fun of her for it. You know, that's just it too. Like, that is a struggle that foreigners have to go through. Like, if you're a foreigner going to school in a different part than you're used to, it, you know what? Kids are assholes like that, YouTube. That is the goddamn truth. You know, and if kids are making fun of you because of the food you're eating, man, forget about them, dude. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? If I was in her shoes, I wouldn't have done that. I would have eaten the food and said, you know what, screw all of you. But, um, at the same time, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the same time, it's just like, exactly, who are you trying to say you're preserving it for? What? Okay, not trying to be offensive, but they called it jerk me sauce. That was a little offensive, yes. They could have called it happy ending sauce. That would have been way worse. We do not fully understand what causes Alzheimer's disease. Cultural sensitivity training for food creation. Yeah, like, what? Exactly my point, like... I'm all for being politically correct, having less racism and sexism in our society, 1,000%. But when we start stretching, you know, stretching it a bit, now we're going to take inanimate objects, food, which is an inanimate object. It has no feelings, no conscious way of thinking. It just sits there. It's either hot or cold, tasty or not tasty. It's just food. We make it with our hands, we bake it, we mix it, we stir it, 
whatever. And then when we put it on a plate, we eat it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what? Now, I, I see where Evie, or I'm not sure how you say your name, is coming from. Like, I mean, you know. But at the same time. It's like now we live now we live in a society where everything's offensive, everything's sexist, and everything's racist. And quite frankly, I'm just beyond sick of it. Zero, thank you for asking. She's unlikely to gain any new customers to her shop from bending the knee, and all over what? Bone broth? Wait a minute! Because now bone broth is considered racist. What? It's food, okay? Okay, how many of you who grew up in households, sincerely, let's have a serious question here. You know, people just get way too easily offended and jump to these radical conclusions. That's what I fucking hate about our society anymore. People are just... Ugh. Many of us are having a hard time discussing these sort of topics like cultural appropriation without getting banned or deleted. So here's the thing of it. How are we supposed to have a conversation about cultural appropriation and what's acceptable and what isn't on these platforms if they ban us? Like platforms like YouTube and Facebook and all this and Twitter and Instagram and yeah. MySpace, you know, all these social media platforms want us to be more PC and they want us to, uh, you know what I'm saying? But if we're not allowed to have conversations about these topics without somebody getting offended or saying, I don't like this post, it offended me. And then that person then flags the post and then all their friends who are equally offended by everything also flag the post and then next thing you know, pfft, that mother trucker just got a two-week ban on Facebook. What? We live in a time where we are told constantly how great it is to have cultures coming together. And in fact, most of the time when we talk about multiculturalism and its benefits, people always bring up the diversity of food. That is actually a fair point. That's what makes living on planet Earth so great is all these different cultures can come together and share their ideas and these concepts, you know? Multiculturalism, yeah, that, that is an awesome thing. It's a great way for other people to learn about each other's ancestors and the cultures and where they come from, etc. And exactly, Sidney Watson, it freaking exactly. One of the greatest ways to do that is through the food. Because guess what? It don't matter what culture you're from, everybody loves to eat, man. The food's delicious. Like, this is... This this is a touchy subject. That's fucked. Okay, that is just fucked. But, um... But, um... At the same time... At the same time, the society we live in likes to p promote diversity. <laughs> oh my god. If we cannot explore other cultures and their food, in some way, shape, or form, without being called a radical dick or a racist about it, there's a problem. She, she gets it, dude. Like, multiculturalism. The idea where different cultures come together, they're just like, we don't care about our differences, this is where we come from. That's pretty cool, man. I dig it. This is where my family comes from. Hey, man, I dig your story. What do you guys, you know, 100%. But, um, okay, how is multiculturalism supposed to work if we segregate every culture to be with its own race, its own people, rather than coming together as a world and uniting as people, just trying to live our lives? Like, not trying to be racist or anything, but hear me out. You and your family decide to have taco nights. You're not being a stereotype about it. You're not being racist. But now apparently, but you know what I'm saying? Like how many families have done that? Like, hey, tonight we're having tacos or tonight we're, you know what I'm saying? But now apparently that's racist. Now apparently food is racist. So now it's, now if you and your family have taco night every Tuesday, you can't do that anymore because that's racist. What about pizza nights? Nope, can't have that either because your culture didn't make it. 
Well, what about, you know what I'm saying? Stop to think about how dumb that is. We're now being judged by the food we cook. We get judged for everything, you two, but I'm fucking sick of it. I'm tired of it, dude. I am beyond fucking tired. Everything we do as people gets judged. The way we walk, the way we talk, the way we dress, the way we carry ourselves, our mannerisms, everything we do gets judged by everyone and everything else. And holy crap is it exhausting. Every human being likes to eat. I don't care who you are. So you think, you know, hey, we, we, we get a break from this crazy bullshit. Just sit down, have a bite to eat, spend some time with our families. Spend some time with our families at the dinner table and have a bite to eat. Nope, now that's being attacked too. <laughs> In July of this year, a popsicle stand was forced to close. A popsicle stand. A what? Oh my god, dude. A popsicle stand? What in the actual liver lily fuck, dude? A popsicle stand. What? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but um I think frozen treats are universally loved all over the planet. It's a hot July. People are sweating their balls off. And you hear the ice cream truck. Ding, 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 ding. You hear the ice cream truck coming down the block and you're like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And your mouth starts to water as the bead of sweat pours off your neck. And you're like, fuck yeah, ice cream. I don't know too many people that, you know, wow. Okay. A popsicle stand? What, at what point does it become okay to attack people for making food? Food! Because apparently now food is racist. <sighs> it's ridiculous. And each of these businesses was white owned. Oh, so now we figure out why. We figure out the pattern now, don't we? This new rhetoric of all whites are racist and all, all men are sexist now that we live in, I don't like it one stinking bit. And if I complain about it, I get told, well, you gotta check your privilege because one, you're white, and two, you're a male, so you have no idea what it's like. You're right, I don't, but at the same time, I tend to think, you know... Restaurants with white owners and the food they serve. Dude, why we gotta bring race into everything? I'm tired of it. Right down to the point where it's the food we're cooking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm fucking saying? Like, sincerely, who gives a fuck about race? If the restaurant's a good restaurant, they're clean, their food is good, the staff is friendly, they make you feel welcome, you know? You always feel like, hey, you're at home when you're eating. Then who gives a fuck what color the owners are? Holy shit! Okay, if we're supposed to be uniting ourselves as people, okay, this is the United States of America, not the divided states of America. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it! I am just, honestly, I'm at a loss for words, YouTube. I really am. Funnily enough, this story reminded me of another story that happened on a college campus where a black girl was basically verbally abusing a white guy because he had dreadlocks. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, let's go to Google. Let's go to Google. Who was the first race of people to start wearing dreadlocks? Dreadlocks have been discovered on mummies in Peru, Aztec priests and mummies dating back to the 14th and 15th centuries traditionally wore their hair and matted locks. Okay, so let me get this straight. It's not cultural appropriation when African Americans steal dreadlocks from the Aztecs and the ancient Egyptians, but when white guys do it, it is. Like, is this cracker tripping? The fuck? Doesn't work like that, I know. <sighs> fuck racism. Hmm. Where did you get your glasses? I want those frames too. Fan of yours is 2012. That's what's up. Um, 
Actually, I got these at Walmart, believe it or not. I wanted to find glasses that were, you know, Ozzy Osbourne, John Lennon, you know, style glasses. And, um, yeah, for $269, everything I had put on them, that's actually not bad. Not bad at all. If they were going out of their way to be a racist asshole while wearing your culture's hair at the same time, that I can understand people having a fit about, right? But now, but now it's gotten to the point where hair is racist, food is racist, everything's racist. Oh my god, oh my god, YouTube. Oh my god, YouTube. The walls of my apartment are white. They must be racist. Oh my god, I can feel their white oppression. <laughs> just kidding. Fuck racism, fuck sexism. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. Last thing we want to do is offend the Greeks. They might decide to start a new empire, but I guess they'd have to get out of crushing debt first. Cultural appropriation as an idea has become considerably more intense over the last few years. Fuck racism. Now I open the floor to all of you. What do you all think? Is cultural appropriation real? Can it be applied to food? Where's the line on this? Do you think this situation has been blown out of proportion? And what do you generally make of this issue overall? Is cultural appropriation a real issue in our society? Yes, it is. Has it become a problem to a degree? Yes, it has. Can it be applied to food? Fuck no, it can't. At some point, I think people are just looking for a reason to be pissed off and angry. They can't just chill and chill out and be like, you know, people are, it just, that's what it feels like, dude. If you truly believe everything you see on the internet, then you're, you're going to be one of those brain dead sheep that just mindlessly follows Twitter and Pinterest. Like <laughs> the person who wrote this blog said that, that, that this person was racist. So therefore, <laughs> and, um, well, that's a scary concept to think about. You know, don't just blindly follow someone without doing your research, like, straight up. I drop truth on you people because it's good to open your eyes to the bigger picture. You got this blue pill ideology and then here comes that little red pill It's hard to swallow. Tastes like shit. But you swallow it and all of a sudden, holy crap! And to say that whites can't be culturally appropriated, well... How would you feel if an Asian man started acting stereotypically white, saying things like yeehaw and tarnation y'all and where's the gold at? And anybody got any lantern scannered? I mean, I'd be like, hey man, um, Leonard Skinner kicks ass, but like, what are you doing? And they sat there saying, Sharks just acting white, grabbing on their long johns like that, you know. I'm like, oh, aren't you funny? You see, not all of us whites are like that. Would I be slightly offended if someone tried to act white and they weren't? Eh, not really. Unless they were being a dick about it. You feel me on that, YouTube? You know, I can laugh at my trolls all day, so the idea that I can't take a joke is hilarious, right? Because my trolls are a joke. They really are. As always, if you like the video, hit subscribe and the thumbs up button. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. Just be respectful about it. Oof. Well, there's my take on it. Um... I have never seen your hair this raggedy ever. So clearly this was an important issue for you because I can see almost every each individual strand sticking up from your head. She's probably, and most women aren't like that. 